I'm Dave from boyinaband.com and welcome to day four of the seven day song on Dance Pop, courtesy of Propellerhead Software's Music Making Month. Yesterday we sorted out some sweet lead synths to top off our track that was so electrotastic it actually got Kesha coming round to my house and getting glitter everywhere, which is a nightmare to vacuum up so I hope you're happy. Today in day four, I'll finish off the synths for this song with a gated pad, a cool little pitch bend synth, and one of my favourite sounds, a big bass pad, which we'll use as an arpeggiated synth as well, since we're economical like that. Okay, let's begin. Right click, combinator, let's name it, gated pad, make ourselves a mixer, 6 to 2, and you need a small one, Thor, initialize, and open it up. And I'll add in some notes now. All right, there's our notes in a new section, a new block I've called intro. Let's go back to the synth and take a listen. Now as awesome as that sounds, we're gonna do a bit more to this synth. We're gonna make three multi oscillators in a three octave spread. So take one up and one down. And now run them through and take a listen. Okay, we're going to put a bit more detune on these with particularly high amounts of detune on the highest octave. So a little bit more on both of these as well. And there we go, a sweet super sore synth to start the sound. Now make the mixer so the middle and bass saw waves are a bit more prominent, or the high end octave will take all the focus. So let's take the bass right up, full three on the mixer there, and let's angle this a bit more towards the middle, since number one octave is the higher end, and we want number two a bit more prominent. Now take a listen to that. Sweet. Now we're going to take sustain all the way up to full in the amp envelope so it doesn't lose any volume over time. And that's the Thor instance done. Now let's add some gating. So right click, create, matrix pattern sequencer. We're going to set it to curve mode, hit tab to look at the back, and then turn it to bipolar mode since all pop synths like pop stars have seriously debilitating moments of depression. Also this means it will completely cut out the sound when the gate is off as opposed to just making it quieter, and this is what will give it that gating effect. Now let's route the curve CV, get rid of these two, and just the curve CV, into the amp level here in the modulation input of Thor, basically telling the matrix sequencer to pass along whatever pattern that's programmed into the volume of the Thor instance. Since we're going to go with bars that are fully one way or another, either fully up here or right down the bottom in this matrix sequencer instance. This means it'll either make the sound audible when it's at the top or completely off when it's at the bottom. Now, program in a pattern. I'm gonna go for 32 steps and 30, 130 seconds resolution, since I like the quicker rhythmic gating effect in a lot of pop music, and I'll just make a pattern now. Okay, so here's our pattern, now take a listen. Now there's a few things to do here. Firstly, we're going to change from polyphonic to mono, mono legato, just so there's a little overlap in there. And instead of going in and tidying up the notes like a sucker, I'm just going to do this cheap, quick, easy version and only allow the synth to play one note at a time. And while we're here, we're going to take off the filter since that sounds a lot better than that. A lot brighter. Also, don't worry about the clipping, we'll turn it down later on. So, we do have a pretty good sound here, but can you hear what's not so good about it? It's powerful and thick, but very muddy. We need to EQ it to bring up the high end goodness. You might think it'd make sense to just raise the volume of the high octave, but you get a very different tone from a high octave synth than you do from bringing up the high end of a low octave one especially since we've detuned the high octave synth considerably more than these low octave ones. So, we're going to add ourselves, right click create, M class equalizer, and just bring up the high shelf by about five decibels to start, followed by a really nice boost around four kilohertz, eight decibels, and widen it up to about a quarter of the Q, so like 1.6. 
to take a listen without. And with. You can hear there, it's a lot brighter now. EQing is vital in getting a more pro sound in pretty much every synth you make. It has to be able to fit in the mix though, so make sure you don't have every synth focused in the same area of the frequency spectrum, or it'll turn very messy very fast. Like trying to fit cats in a car engine, you could probably get away with one, maybe two, but many more than that and you'll end up with a limbless feline and a very confused mechanic. So there's our tone shaped, let's top it off with a reverb on the mixer here, right click, oh, right click, create. RV7000 Advanced Reverb, just on the default is nice, and just bring up that auxiliary a bit. And a little bit less, just to make it very subtle. Just enough of an ambience without turning it into a Dutch hardcore anthem. Like that. Et voila, there's our gated synth. Follow me into part two where we'll look at a cool pitch bend saw synth. 